Hi guys, this tutorial is for beginners and I will show you very basic edits how you can achieve a cool Instagram Reels with just easy steps. We all know that if the videos are not synced with the music perfectly, that video will look weird even if you will have some crazy effects on it. So don't be that guy who never synced their videos with music. Click on your music layer and press L button twice to see the beat drops. Now simply go to every beat drop and set markers, this will make you to cut your videos easy on every beat. For example here is the beat drop, to set marker, press star on your keyboard. Once you are done with music, you can begin editing your videos. So here I've dropped my 4 clips and first what I am going to do is, smooth speed ramping. Right click on your clip, go to time and select, enable time remapping. This will create 2 keyframes on your clips, one at the beginning and second in the end of your video. We can move them to create speed ramp but, we don't need them, we are going to make our own keyframes. At the beginning of the video by moving this time forward, we can choose beginning of the speed ramp. Once you are happy with it, go to first beat drop marker you have created earlier. Start moving the time forward to choose the ending of the speed ramp. As you can see it has created a new keyframe. Once we have a speed ramp done, we can cut and delete the video what's after the second keyframe. Press Ctrl Shift D to cut the video. The most important thing in smooth speed ramp is to make a smooth curve in graph editor. Select your both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor. Right click here and make sure edit value graph is selected. Here we have to make a curve to let our video go fast then slow it down and go fast again. So move the first line up and to the left like in this video. Move second line down slightly to the right corner. Let's check the speed ramp. It looks cool to me. Always make sure to enable frame blending on speed ramp layer. Click here twice until you see an arrow. This will make your speed ramp look smoother and it will avoid you from jitters in the speed ramp. Now you know how to make a smooth speed ramps. I will do the same on all of my clips, I will skip that part to make this tutorial as short as possible and once you are done with speed ramps too, let's jump to another basic edits. Let's check how it looks like with just a speed ramping without any effects on it. That look already amazing. Before adding any effects, always pre-compose your clips. Make sure to select move all attributes and adjust composition duration, then rename to whatever you want and click on OK. The next step what we should do is stabilize your clips. Check my tutorial on how to stabilize your clips in After Effects. Once you've stabilized the videos pre-compose them one more time. Now we are ready to make basic but cool effects. On my first clip I want to add a tornado but, first of all let's track the camera, Go to tracker and click on track motion. Here we should find a well contrasted spot in your video. In my case I will track on this black spot here. Move your track point there. Make the big box a bit larger and make the little one little more. This will make tracking more accurate but it will take a bit longer to analyze. Click on options now and make sure to select RGB and toggle on adapt feature on every frame then click on OK. Now we can analyze the video. Once the analyzing is done, create new null object. Cut that null object, match it to the length of the clip we are editing. Now press on edit target and make sure to select the null we have created then click on OK. Press on apply now and make sure apply dimensions are set to X and Y then click on OK. We have a smooth tracked null now and we can bring here a tornado footage. I will leave a download link in description for this one. Cut tornado layer to match it the clip we are editing. Link it to null layer and enable 3D on tornado. Place tornado where you want and resize it on your wish. If you play back the video you will see it's perfectly tracked with the background. Now let's place it behind the car. First of all select your clip and rename it to BG. BG stands for background. Always name your layers, this will make you easy to find all layers later. Now duplicate BG layer and move it above tornado. Rename BG to car only. Go to effects now and make sure there is no effects. If there is some effects delete them on car only layer. Then open car only layer settings, expand motion trackers and delete tracker 1 on it. As we have a clean clip without any effects, now we can isolate the car from a background. Select roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car perfectly and try to make a smooth selection. To remove the unwanted selection, hold alt button. Once you have finished and selection is perfect, press space bar on your keyboard to play back the video and check if selection is following the car perfectly. If not, stop where the selection have to be fixed, correct that selection and play back video again. 
Once you are happy with selection and it follows the car perfectly, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Tornado is now behind the car and it looks so cool to me. Under the roto brush add feather to smooth the edges of the car, I will set it to 10 cause it's enough if the selection was perfect. Let's darken the background now a bit. Select BG layer and add exposure effect on. Bring the exposure down as much as you will enjoy. Once you have finished with effects, I recommend to pre-compose them into one layer. Select the layers you were working on, right click and select pre-compose. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected then name to whatever you want and click on OK. For example you have missed something in that layer or want to add some more effects, don't worry, double click on pre-composed layer and now you can adjust your clip or effects, you can even add other effects if needed. Once you are happy, go back to main composition again and let's continue making other cool things. Let me show you how to make track text in your videos. Go to tracker and click on track camera. Expand advanced and toggle on detailed analysis. Once the analyzing is done, select as much points on the ground as much you can. Then right click and select, create text and camera. Cut the text layer, match it to the clip you are editing on. Then select both text and 3D layers and move above your second clip. Select text layer and press S to open scale, in my case text is too large so I will make it smaller. Then position it where you want and change X, Y and Z rotations. Now let's grab text tool and I will type here a 34. Let's create a shadow of the text with a simple steps. Duplicate your text. Select bottom one and rename it to shadow. Add fill effect. Change color to black. I will change X rotation to make shadow on a ground. Bring down the opacity. Add Gaussian blur and add blurriness a bit. Shadow is ready. Let's add a glow to the text now. Select your main text layer and add a glow. I will use a deep glow. If you don't have it, I have good news, I'm giving away my plugins. Check this video, read the description and get plugins for free. Under the deep glow, reduce exposure a bit, so we can read the text clearly. That looks cool to me. Let's add a tail lights rays now. Select your clip and rename it to BG. Duplicate that layer and rename it to tail lights. Remove 3D camera on that layer. Now what we are going to do is, we should mask the tail lights of the car but, mask should be perfect. I highly recommend you to use Mocha AE for masking and tracking. Doesn't matter if you are beginner or good at editing, if you don't have Mocha AE yet, check this video's description and download Mocha AE today. In Mocha I will select ellipse tool and mask tail lights of this R34 skyline. Once we have a perfect mask, let's click on tracking button. Once the tracking is done, make sure to lock the mask. Let me explain why. This skyline has three more tail lights and now I have to mask another one, so if I mask another one and won't lock my first one, that first mask can go wrong. To avoid any issues with previous mask, it's better to lock and that will keep your first mask in safe while you're masking and tracking new masks. Let's grab a ellipse tool again and mask another one. Once you're happy, track that mask backward now. Once the tracking is done, make sure to lock that mask as well. I will grab ellipse tool and do the same to my rest of tail lights. I will skip that part. Once we have a perfect masks, let's click on save button and close Mocha AE. Under the Mocha, expand matte and select, apply matte. If you solo tail lights layer, you will see a perfect masked out tail lights of the car. We can now add a Godrays plugin on that layer. Godrays is free plugin, check the description to download it. Play around with settings until it looks cool to you, don't copy my settings, it won't work for you cause clips are different. It looks nice to me but, I love to add deep glow plugin to add some shine on tail lights or headlights. Reduce exposure a bit and you can also add other colors to it, expand tint and enable it, change mode to soft light and reduce mix a bit. I will leave the color to red. Now that looks better to me. Once we are done with the effects, let's pre-compose all layers we were working on into one layer. Remember, you can always open that pre-composed layer and adjust or add effects. Now let's jump to another and very popular effect we almost can see in every car reels today, a saber effect. It's a free plugin and you can check the download link in description. But, before adding a saber plugin, we should mask the wheel, cause saber work only with masks. To make a perfect mask I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha, select ellipse tool and mask the wheel perfectly. Once you are done, enable perspective and click on tracking button. If the mask is not following the wheel, stop there correct the mask and click on tracking button again. Once the tracking is done, 
click on Save button and close Mocha AE. Under the Mocha, expand Mat and click on Create AE Masks. Now we have a perfect mask wheel. To see the whole car, press M on your keyboard to open masks, change mask mode to none. Now we are ready to apply Saber plugin on our clip. Under the Saber, expand Render Settings. Change Composite Settings to Add. Then expand Customize Core and change Core Type to Layer Masks. As you can see Saber is applied to a mask we have made in Mocha. You can now change any preset and adjust the Saber as you will enjoy. I will stay on Neon. Let's change Color. I will make it white. Change Glow on your wish. It has too much glow. I will reduce it a bit. Let's animate the saber now. Go to very beginning of the clip and click on end offset stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Change offset to 0%. Now go to very end of the clip and change offset to 100%. The saber is animated but, it's weird. Increase end size a bit. Increase end roundness. Reduce start size. That looks cool to me, let's make saber rotate on the wheel. Go to very beginning of the clip again and click on Mask Evolution Stopwatch icon. Then go to the end of the clip and set Evolution to 3. This will make Saber to rotate 3 times. I'm happy with it and I guess it's enough for this clip, let's jump to another effect. Here I will add a explosion effect but, first of all we need to track the camera. Go to Tracker and click on Track Motion. Move Track Point to Well Contrasted and Dark Spot in your video. Make the big box bigger and a small one smaller to focus on that spot better. Now click on Options, select RGB, and make sure to enable Adapt feature on every frame. Click on Analyze button now and let's wait. Once analyzing is done, create new null object. Cut that null, match to the video's length. Now click on Edit Target and make sure to select the null, then click on OK. Click on Apply now and make sure Apply Dimensions are set to X and Y then click on OK. Let's bring the explosion footage now. I will leave a download link in the description for this one. Cut the explosion as well. Now let's apply a Kill Eyed effect. Grab an eyedropper tool and click on green screen to remove it. Link explosion to null and enable 3D on it. Place the explosion where you want and scale on your wish. In my case I think it's cool. All we have to do is to make the explosion behind the car. To do so, duplicate your clip and move it above explosion. Let's rename both clips, below one rename to BG, and the top one rename to car only. Open car only settings, expand motion tracker and delete tracker one on it. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Here, you already know how to roto brush the car perfectly. I will skip this part cause video is too long already. Once you are done with roto brush, go back to composition. Under the roto brush set feather to 10 to smooth the edges of the car. Now select BG layer and add exposure effect and reduce the exposure a bit. It already looks cool but, let's add another popular effect that we meet every day on Instagram, car sliding effect. Duplicate car only layer, select the bottom one and add offset effect on it. Go to very beginning of the layer and click on shift center stopwatch icon. Then go to very end of the layer and start changing values as much as you want. Once it's enough for you, make sure to match the cars like this. If you play back the video you will see a weird sliding effect, it needs a motion blur. We have two options here, a free option is, CC Force Motion Blur but, I prefer using paid option and it is RSMB Pro plugin. I'm giving away this plugin on 10,000 subscribers. Check this video and read the description to get my plugins for free. Let's add a deep glow plugin now. Reduce the exposure a bit and we are done. Let's pre-compose these layers as well and we can render the video. That's what it looks like after the render. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.